Well, well, well. What is up my fellow Rocket Powered Sound Designers? The hat is back baby! And today we're doing something that we've never ever done before. We're going to be making and installing skins for Serum. If you guys are looking at my Serum right now, you're like, Shane, what the hell happened? Guys, this is crazy, okay? The new update just allows you to absolutely completely customize the appearance of your serum plugin. So you guys are looking at this, you're like, wow, rocket powered sound designer? I'm a rocket powered sound designer. So if you guys want this awesome, sexy skin, the link is right at the top of the description and the comment section below. You guys can follow along, just click the link, instantly downloads to your computer, and let's get started. Because, you know, we are the new breed, the next generation of sound designers, us rocket powered sound designers. That is where the next direction of sound design in general is going. So we're part of a movement, baby. Let's keep going. So first things first, very straightforward. You download the skins, right? This is what you get. A little folder it says RPSD skin. So we get two folders. It says 1X and 2X. What the hell does that mean? Let me show you. So I'm going to go new finder window. And we're going to go straight, no, not RPS, we're going to go into Macintosh HD. So um, this is what you do for Macs. It's a little bit different for PC, I don't know exactly. But we're going to go into our library, we're going to go audio, and let's select plugins, or I'm sorry, presets. And when we're in the presets, we see, oh, X for records. X for Records makes X for Serum. So let's go ahead and open up X for Records. Oh, take a look at this, Serum presets. And here we have skins. Perfect. Okay, so we go into default, and here we are brought with two, or three folders, I'm sorry. 1X, 2X, and fonts. Fonts are gonna be all the fonts used in Serum, and um, guys, take a look at this. Serum now has the ability to resize to your window because I know a lot of you guys are working off a laptop and Serum goes out of the freaking window for you guys and that's a little bit absurd. So if you guys um, have such small screens that you can't even grab down here, all you gotta do is just press up here, Rocket Powered Sound Designer, and you guys can just bring it down to 90%, 50%, oh, or default 100%. Amazing feature, feature. Nice job, Steve Duda. That was great. Um, so yeah, here we are brought with one X. So one X is the you know the smallest here. This is um, where we're starting off with, uh, and then of course two X is two times the size of one X. This is just as a base for uh, scaling the um, the synthesizer window. Okay, so as you can see here. If you guys already downloaded this, all we're going to do is, well, here's, if you want to back up your, your original serum skin, you can just duplicate those. Or if you guys are going all in with the RPS sound designer, all you got to do, just drag the 1X folder into the 1X and the 2X into the 2X and replace those files. Restart serum and you're going to get a new skin. So yeah, guys, that's really it for installing this skin. If you guys want to make your own, I'm going to show you that right now. Um, so guys, download that. It literally takes less than a minute to do. Um, you're going to have to restart Serum and your digital audio workstation altogether. You can't just do the rescan folders thing. I already tried it. It doesn't work like that. But let's get back to doing this. So first things first, we're just going to, um, I'm going to take use these Photoshop. And our original two files here are bmp00128 and bmp20128. The only difference there is there is a 2 in the place of a 0 and that's obviously for 2 times. So as you can see we have uh, two different sizes here. We got the um, 00128 and the 20128. Now I'm not going to be doing, um, I'm only going to be working on one and then copying that over to the other. <clears throat> So if you want to have a very good resolution, we're not going to be working on the smaller one and then scaling it up to the bigger one. That doesn't make any sense. So instead, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to be starting with the bigger one and then scaling it down to the smaller one. Let me show you what I mean. So let's just make some weird changes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and invert serum. 
All right, that just looks disgusting. But maybe you like that, all right? I'm not judging here. Um, we're going to just copy this. And we're just gonna paste that right on that serum. And as you can see, it is <laughs> quite the size. It's two times as large. We're just gonna scale that down. Uh, you know what, I wanna get this correct. So I'm gonna transform this down 50%. And yeah, that should link. Oh, it's not, that's weird. Okay, scaled down 50%. Perfect, perfect. Lines up beautifully. And now we have our BMP 00128 copy. Well, it, it was a copy of the original. Um, and then BM 20128, which is the second, um, is the larger one. So all you have to do is move this into 1x folder and move this one into the 2x folder. And that's all you have to do. Um, I don't really want to do that because I don't want to mess up my serum skin. My serum skin is so sexy right now. Just look at this bad boy. Oh my gosh. That's just an orgasm to the eyes and I guess. <laughs> um, all right, let's get out of that weird. I don't even know where I'm going with that. But yeah, as you can see, very simple process. You guys can do this with a lot of other things like the knobs. Um, you can do it with the effects section, matrix, global. That's what I did and it looks beautiful. But that's that. Um, without further ado, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound and I will catch you guys in the next one.